All right, guys, I'm back for your quick video on igneous rocks. I kind of want to explain to you our um, reference table. So I need some red to represent magma, which why aren't you changing colors? All right, whatever. I can't get it to change. So we have extrusive rocks. So think exit. These rocks are volcanic, so they form on the surface of the earth. I'm just going to divide it right there. So all of these rocks up here are extrusive. They form when lava, which is liquid rock, solidifies on the surface of the earth. Intrusive means in, in the ground. So your intrusive rocks are these down here, and you'll notice that diabase can be either or. It depends on where it forms. Okay, so intrusive, you have to remember, the interior of the earth is very hot. So these rocks will take forever to cool. So they take forever to cool. So that means as they're cooling, those crystals have a long time to grow and become larger. So any of our intrusive rocks will have very large crystals. Okay, extrusive, they cool instantly, like on the surface of the earth. And I wouldn't say instantly, but they cool rapidly on the surface of the earth. So they will have smaller crystals. There are some rocks like obsidian that cools actually instantly where you won't even have any crystals and because they cool too quick. You also have the word vesicular, which means gas pockets. So as these rocks are forming, the lava might have some minerals in, in it that actually have gas that pop. So as it cools, it pops and forms these holes where the gases used to be. Kind of like, um, uh, I'm trying to think like, um, if you have like silly putty, I don't know if you ever played with silly putty before and there's gas or air in the silly putty as you're rolling it up and you hear it pop, okay? Or um, Rice crispy Treats as there's popping because there was gas pockets in there. I'm just trying to think of some ideas off the top of my head. So sorry if I went off topic there. Also need to know is the characteristics here are very helpful. So we have, we'll split this chart down in half and maybe Mrs. Perno should use a different color. Split this chart down in half. Okay, if you are on the left side of this chart, you'll notice you're a light in color, you're lower in density, and you are known as felsic minerals, which are rich in silicon and aluminum, so the lighter in color, um, your uh, elements lighter in color. Uh, if you are on this side, you'll notice you're darker, you're higher in density, and you are, you're known as mafic. So you have elements that are um, rich in iron and magnesium, the darker color ones. So if I want to know the minerals in granite, notice granite starts here and ends here. I draw a line straight down and granite can have any or all of these minerals here. So granite can have potassium feldspar, quartz, plagioclase feldspar, biotite, amphibole. But you'll notice that granite would mostly have more quartz and potassium feldspar. And those are going to be your lighter color minerals. So quartz is usually white or pink and potassium feldspar is usually a pinkish mineral. So quartz is going to have a lot of light color rocks in it. If you're like, hey, wait a second, my parents have a quartz countertop or I'm sorry, granite countertop and it's not light. Well, actually then, your parents probably have a gabbro. It looks very similar to quartz. It's just darker in color. They probably have a gabbro countertop. And they don't probably want to confuse the general public, so they just call it granite countertops. So gabbro has um, pyroxene, which is a green mineral, plagioclase feldspar, which does have some white in it, olivine, which is olive color green in it, and amphibole, which is black. So these are your darker minerals here. Okay, um, you'll notice obsidian is on the left side where it's lighter in color, lower in density. When obsidian forms, there's actually some abnormalities to it. So the, the silicon goes through like a deformation and turns it black. So obsidian, you've probably seen it before. It's a black glass colored rock, but it is 
on the left side because it is low in density and its composition is mostly silicon in it. Okay, so some textures that you're going to see. Obsidian is glassy. You can have vesicular rocks. Fine means small crystals. Coarse and very coarse means large and very large crystals. So if it's coarse, you're going to be able to see those crystals. Um, I do have, here we go. So I want you to notice in this rock, you can see black crystals, white crystals, and like a lightish, dirtyish pink color. If, if you can see those crystals with your naked eye, then those are known as coarse. If you cannot, you find one. No, that is granite. Can you, Kellen? I am trying to make a video. I'm trying to go back. I just wanted to pick. Uh, let's see. Hmm? Never mind. Are these chocolate And the um, the no. basalt here, I just want to show no. you, basalt is like a blackish rock. You can't see the other crystals no. in basalt. It's the second rock here. No. You can't see the other crystals in no. there. So we would call those no. fine. And here, the third rock down, you can see a black and a white, a black and a white. Since you can see the different color minerals, that would be known as coarse Mom, texture are these those are chocolate chip teddy grams the obsidian you could see the glass texture so that would be the glassy texture and all right so to me i think i've covered um just look at the notes make sure i went over everything with you guys as we're going down these notes here you will go over that yourself you will look up oh, and then I went over the cooling time. If it cools slow, crystals will grow and will rhyme for you there. If it cools fast, crystals don't last. And if it cools rapidly, no crystals for me. So the longer the cooling time, the larger the crystals will be. Go through those questions. Take a look. Um, granite, its texture is coarse. I want this move. Coarse meaning larger crystals can see with the naked eye. Fine meaning small crystals can't see with the naked eye. Glassy, no, there are no crystals, so we say non-crystalline. And vesicular will have gas pockets. So go through that. Uh, answer your reference table questions, and I will post an answer key um, as well and go over in our Google Meet today. So that is it. Have a great day. See you later.